The Biopac AFR anaerobic flotation reactor is a very suitable technology to treat wastewater containing solids such as fats, proteins and carbohydrates present in, for example, the food manufacturing industry. Both soluble and solid compounds are converted into biogas. Like the Biopac high-rate reactors, IC and ICX, the AFR is a compact process with a small footprint. By means of anaerobic flotation, the biomass is efficiently retained, resulting in long biomass retention times. This allows high concentrations of solids such as fats to be converted efficiently. The AFR system composes of different units. The main units are the bioreactor, the biogas dissolving unit, the flotation tank and the biomass recycling tank. In the bioreactor, the organics are biologically converted into biogas. In the biogas dissolving unit, the gas is dissolved in the effluent of the bioreactor. This takes place under pressure. In the flotation unit, the biomass is separated from the liquid. And finally, the separated biomass is flowing into a biomass recycling tank. The incoming wastewater is pumped into the bioreactor through the influent distribution system that evenly distributes the liquid over the surface. The liquid flows upwards and is mixed well with the biomass in the system. The anaerobic biomass forms agglomerates, small flocks. The microorganisms in these flocks digest the organic compounds, such as fats, proteins and carbohydrates. By various microbiological steps, biogas is produced. The microorganisms in the flocks produce biogas throughout the whole reactor. The biogas is collected in the headspace of the reactor. The mixing in the bottom and top parts of the liquid in the reactor is the highest. This is due to the recirculation of liquid from the upper part of the reactor back to the top of the reactor. Another part of the liquid is recirculated back to the influent distribution system, where it dilutes the wastewater organic compounds. The energy-rich biogas is then collected in the headspace, leaves the bioreactor and can be used, for example, in a CHP, boiler or can be upgraded into natural gas. The effluent of the bioreactor that contains biomass and purified wastewater is pumped into a high-pressure unit, together with a small flow of biogas. The biogas will dissolve completely in the effluent. The liquid with the dissolved biogas leaves the high-pressure unit and passes a valve that releases the pressure in the liquid. As a result, the biogas will form very small biogas bubbles. The liquid, biomass and small gas bubbles flow towards the center of the flotation unit. The small biogas bubbles will attach to the biomass flocks and will lift the biomass to the upper layer. Here the flocks are captured in a small flotation layer. The biomass is now separated from the liquid. The purified effluent leaves the AFR system. Part of this effluent is pumped towards the top of the flotation unit and is sprayed on the outer sides of the flotation layer. The flotation layer flows from the middle of the unit towards the side and flows towards the biomass recycling tank. The biomass is recycled from this tank to the bioreactor. Together with the incoming wastewater and the mixing flow, the recycled biomass is pumped into the influent distribution system. In this way, the biomass is retained in the system and will contribute over and over to the conversion of the organic compounds into the energy-rich biogas. The Biopack AFR process is applied in a variety of industries, such as the dairy industry, food tank cleaning, fish processing and poultry industry. The Biomac AFR system maximizes the biogas production from fats, proteins and carbohydrates. Both soluble and insoluble compounds are efficiently converted into biogas at short hydraulic retention times, typically between 1 to 8 days. Due to the efficient retention of the biomass, the system is compact and has a limited footprint. 
The height of the bioreactor can be up to 24 meters. The wastewater is efficiently purified, resulting in a constant high effluent quality. The system is reliable with a high uptime, since there are no moving parts inside the tanks. The process only uses regular rotating equipment, such as centrifugal pumps placed outside the tanks. The PAC AFR technology is a reliable, highly efficient process with maximized biomass production, excellent effluent quality and low maintenance requirements.